The lectionary this week offer us uh, a passage for, from the second letter to Timothy. Uh, and the author, writing in the name of Paul, invite Timothy to remember our grandmother and our mother and how they both play an important part in his life. And also speak to us very concretely because we too are invited to remember how our, maybe our parents or our grandparents brought us to church or, or gave us our knowledge about faith, about religion. We are also invited also to remember our forebearers, for, uh, for mother, for fathers, who built our congregation, who built our religious affiliation or denomination, built our faith group. And also, as we're about to celebrate this coming Sunday, the Worldwide Communion Sunday, to remember the communion of saints. We often say in our liturgy, all of those around the world who share this, these beliefs, this faith, the, these values with us. It might not always be the same, but in the same, we have this core beliefs, this core faith that we all share. And also the authors speak about courage. I said, don't be afraid, be courageous. And here it's not saying that we need to be courageous because we're persecuted. It's not the case in the Western world, for sure. I know some uh, more conservative groups like to, to pretend that with the secularization of our world, Christianity is under persecution. I don't buy that. It's more the courage to remember and to embody the radical life of the first Christian, the radical life that Jesus came to, to promote. Because it's, a, it's frightening. It's frightening for us because we have a comfort, we have our status, we have our way of life. Usually, we don't want to be disturbed, and we're very comfortable. And then we're reminded, no, you need this, this courage, this courage of to, to preach and live radical love, radical forgiveness, radical inclusion in our churches, in our community, in our world. And once again, on this Worldwide Communion Sunday, we are challenged. We're challenged because we are living in a world that wants to create division between, between people, between human beings, between nations, between gender. There's always division. And people try to use those division as an edge to make us afraid and gain power. And for a Sunday, we say, no, no, no. We're all human beings. We're all children of God. And there's some of us that all believe that Jesus came to preach something else, something different. And we will remember on this day all of those that today share this value. We will remember all of those in the past who taught us about those values. And we will try to remember, to actively love, value, accept all our brothers and sisters in faith, accept everyone at our table. That's it for this week. I hope I will see you soon. Until then, I'm the lectionary man, Stéphane Vermette, wishing you a great week.